This is a ice burst guide for like this account to pure, so it's gonna be more to do with pures, but the same kind of idea works for mains, just your gear and stuff like that differs. So for my like pure account, I got a 60 attack account, so I have ancient robe, ancient robes, ancient blessing, nightmare staff, book of darkness, ring of gods, tormented bracelet, occult, and yeah. I just, you know, I had, I got the Mage 2 cape, which is an extra 2% damage, so you're going to want to maximize uh, your magic damage opposed to your accuracy because you're going to hit on these low-level monsters. So what you're mainly going to want to have is, you know, these three items because, and well, those three items and the cape because that's what's going to maximize your uh, magic damage. So that's what's going to give you higher XP per hour. So how we're going to get here, we're going to teleport using the skills necklace. And we're going to teleport to the Great Krond. And we're going to appear here, which is east of the Woodcutting Guild. And we're going to run north to right here on the Forthus Ruin Dungeon Entrance. So we can uh, run there right now. Okay, we're approaching here now, so you go down the stairs, you'll end up here, you're going to want to run north and then all the way east. You're going to come to a door which you'll open and continue inside. Now for inventory, you're, oh fuck. For inventory, you're going to want to have like prayer potions, but you're not want to you're not going to want to have your whole inventory filled. Like if you want to pick up loot because they'll be dropping rune meds. Uh, you know, herb seeds and another one are the muddy keys and they're worth a lot of, like they're worth you know 30 40 K a pop so you know you pay for your your runes more than you would at skeleton uh, monkeys so there is upside to this it's not as good uh, XP but you do you do get money back so it's hard to kind of argue with that too so what I noticed I have better luck doing is running from side to side, collecting as many as I can and standing in an area where I can, uh, I can have a big grid of them. So I'll try to get a grid of them going, but it's not, I don't find it's as nice as the monkeys for stacking and hitting, but you do get good XP here. So, I mean, it is different, but just the difference in it you know it's nicer for some people that just don't have the money to dump onto the magic so if you can get you know a trip of 600k 700k worth of stuff like why not and I got crashed by a bot yippee so I just alternate and run side to side he fucked up the aggro and they all went on him so that's that's gonna happen here so you want to just you know you're, you you you're gonna want to gather enough of them to make it worth fucking bursting them. But you can also try to get a grid going with them. Mine's kind of fuck. Mine's kind of messed up, honestly. But a lot of trial and error. But you're getting your money back for uh, your runes. So the the downside would be the time it takes to get a burstable amount of them there compared to skeleton monkeys. You can you know. You can get them stacked up way quicker and they have higher HP, so you're able to uh, be more AFK while getting more XP. But you know, if I was a lower level account or I didn't have like a ton of GP and I was just going for 82 mage or to slowly work for 94, even 99, you could do this method. Like it's granted it's going to pay for most of it, it's not going to pay for all of it, but you know just to have that 
There's a grubby key. Okay, it's not a muddy key. Oh, I'm tripping. So. And that happened pretty quick. You know, they drop nature runes. You can enable your uh, ring of wealth. So when you get all of these big, well, not big, but when you get all of these different coin drops from these spiders, it'll go into your inventory. And uh, it does add up after a while. So, you know, there's there's that chunk off of one of them. So for somebody that's low level or somebody that's grinding and, you know, doesn't have the GP, this is definitely a better method. You know, you're, you're missing out on another roughly 30, 40, 50k magic experience doing this but you know you're still getting awesome magic experience and you're being you know paid back for it somewhat so and like this and skeleton monkeys would be more of a pure problem because mains mains can use uh the monkey madness two caves and you can get a way bigger amount of uh things there to burst those um monkeys right so there's another grubby key look at that that's crazy right there that's what i mean by keeping some room in your inventory because you feel you'll fill it some fast if you get some lucky drops super quick and you're going to be dealing with these bots every world has these people collecting the red spider eggs like it's obviously a uh, bot but you know that's the thing of runescape now there's more bots around than real players it's messed up so you know you can afk it but the more afk you do this just uh you know you're not going to get as good as xp as you want so you know you can uh for prayer you can use whatever you want i don't think it's worth using mystic might but you can you know it's gonna make things more expensive but if you're looking to maximize xp and whatever give it a go i just use mystic will but you know you can go for mystic lore give you a little extra boost so for me i'm gonna run to the other side because this is kind of three of them's not really good for me so i'm just gonna run out here try to aggro three or four outside of this doorway jump back into the doorway half through and then I have a stack like this to hit I can try to make it a little better see if I can get another one to come this way that's not a bad stack I got there but yeah you see what it is it's you know it's not rocket science by any means but it is a very interesting place for low levels and people that just don't have the money and you know they get the xp that you're getting it's still pretty pretty damn nice as well so uh like comment subscribe i actually just found this place the other day i've been a long time player of this game i just never really explored Corin that much but glad i found this it's a good little option and i'm glad it's there so uh see you guys in the next one peace bye